be very interesting to see what happens. They switched up their formation a little bit, San Francisco, in the game against... 80. Remember, the Haitian national team has made a number of big saves in his career in order to get Haiti into the Gold Cup in 2015, as well as participating in the World Cup qualifiers. A couple of very solid goals. Wasn't sure if it was going to go out for a corner or a throw, and here's Bravo in the area. Bravo still with it, laying it off for Watson. And it just goes wide, but the crowd here appreciating the effort early on. Yeah, to collapse on him, and then he had to lay it off for Watson. But still, a good effort there by Omar Bravo, and the fact that he's getting touches in the penalty area that quickly is a good sign for Phoenix. Matt Watson, 32 years old, out of Redditch, England. Spent a year with the Carolina Railhawks. First year with Phoenix. Bounced around between the Richmond. Here between the left back of Phoenix, Eder Areola and J.J. Greer, the left center back, if you will, and it allowed Wimet to go through the flag state down, and they're going to have to clean that up, clean that communications up. That chance against Cohen, but if Phoenix can control the possession, get the ball to Jason Johnson, Wimet will have to be defensive the entire game. Johnson going for the early delivery, and it forces Seuss off of his line, looking for Omar Bravo, who applauds the, the effort from Johnson. Well done by Jason Cohen there. You wonder if we met, if he chips the keeper, maybe he scores there, but Cohen reading it beautifully. Front. Miguel Tim. Play back for Watson. Now he's right. Phillips going for goal, but it's right into the breadbasket of Stuart Sayus as he's going to hang on to that comfortably. But right, Phillips, very smooth stroke there of the ball, and Sayus in the right place at the right time. Well positioned there by the Delta's goalkeeper, but first dangerous look Tad against the Oklahoma City Energy a few weeks ago his first goal for the club and such a great moment for an Englishman who's had such a phenomenal football career to finally be able to get that pressure off his back of scoring that first goal and hopefully it'll be and Sean Ray Phillips not only can he score goals but I think for Phoenix his main role will be to create goals and we've seen him throughout the season he's out wide on the right which he's been playing basically since he was coming up in the tried to wait for San Francisco to drift high and then try to catch them on the counter. So uh, things are being mixed up here by Rick Chance in this match. Rear up strong. Find Johnson, bit of a miscue there. It will fall to Johnson. Sending the cross towards the Ooh. back post. And all sorts of trouble for Seuss, who eventually just had to punch it out. In. Finding space, able to put danger by pressure onto the goal of San Francisco and Omar Bravo once again was it and especially should it get to extra time exactly and with the extra time looming you want fresh legs that could make the difference so that's very important so it's good to see that he's okay my Phillips directing traffic pointing to where to go and the long ball ahead comes to nothing as Sayus comes off his line a little more patience there by Phoenix. They had the the possession. We don't see San Francisco. Yep. yep. It was a great ball over the top. The only thing would make if it was a little bit further ahead of Bravo. So he had to reach back and make that touch. It was slightly over the top ball and the player. And able to regain possession back for San Francisco. And that was important because Ariola had burst down the left side. If he was able to beat Atacor. Going to be number 11. Another mm. Didier Drogba. Yes. Who, as we heard before early in the game, thanks to Jose Bosch, will be making his debut on June 10th. It's a little bit difficult to see the far side referee who had the flag up. So regardless of whether the ball went in the back of the net, it would have been blown off. But the encouraging sign is it's there that they can win. Watson is in on the goal. So tough match for Miguel Tim, but he does have a lot of time to turn it around. And hasn't hurt Phoenix because it's still a nil-nil game. Op opportunity from the set piece for Phoenix. And you see Rambo quickly sprinting to the occasion. Early ball in. And Sayus off of his line to cut it out. With those three. Because they've seen that throughout this match they've had an opportunity. The left side has been... Their strongest side, the right side of the San Francisco defense, has been the weakest part of their defense. So they tried to. Five minutes.
check that. We are going to have five minutes of added time. Got passes, and we saw a couple of times he was able to slide it through to Johnson and to Avila. Unfortunately for Phoenix, both of them, well, one of them, Johnson didn't slide it back over to Bravo, and then the other one, Bravo, job of keeping its shape, staying in unison, keeping that line together. You have to give credit to Atacora, Fajeda, and Tesa keeping that line, keeping that shape because it's about smart to have two players in front of them and what we saw there when Phoenix was pushing forward there Deltas had numbers in the back and that's one thing you have you have to do. that's something we didn't see too much in the first half from Phoenix neither one of those wing backs was involved or had much influence in the attack in this game Maxime Tissot so the 25 year old's day is done and he will be replaced by Danny Cruz Nice shift from Tissot. So, forcing the play out wide. Don't let anything through the middle. That's a smart move by Rick Chance. But it does require a little bit of pressing in the, with their players, with their attacking players up the pitch. So that's something we'll see if they can do that consistently for the rest of this second half, rest of this match. The boos raining down on Robbie Holner, who was on the scene. It's not a bad move by Jason Johnson to go at Atacora, run at him. Remember, Atacora has a yellow card. And Jason Johnson, he missed time to run. Maybe the pass is a little too heavy from Gray on the cross, but still, they found a way to get behind that Delta's back line, which was they were in line. They were in unison. They were organized. Put one on frame, or is he going to deliver a service? Right-footed. He can naturally bend it near post. Bravo goes oh. for goal. And it soars over everybody here at the Phoenix Rising Soccer Complex. Around the wall and get into that near post, which for a right-footed player is a natural bend, so that, that made sense. Just couldn't keep the shot now. So another opportunity for Phoenix goes by the wayside. NASL now just minutes away from a third-round win and a chance to play against an MLS Tice's foul. Bravo to equalize. And he's got it. Omar Bravo ties the game for the penalty spot here in the 85th. And it is going to be Lubon coming on, replacing Michael Stevens, who had that great opportunity right out of the gate of the first half. He was out wide when Sean Wright Phillips was in the game, but then went back in the middle when Sean Wright Phillips went went to the bench, was substituted off. They need to get him more involved in the most dangerous attacking player for Deltas has been neutralized in this game by Phoenix's defense. <laughs> Unbelievable turn of events for Phoenix. Just when we thought that I mean, we were talking about Heinemann being neutralized. He had that one little burst of magic, and he was able to give them the lead. So Heinemann right now with the game. Got to get Avila out of the ball. Can't be bashful here if you're Phoenix. Ramage chipping it forward, finding Seth. Seth with the header, but couldn't get the power behind it. Great opportunity right at the last for